about the life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm on the red carpet for the Make-A-Wish Gala. Take a look. Well, I have to tell you that I'm a really big fan of the Shaws of Sunset. Oh, well, we appreciate that. I hope you I hope you enjoy the show, I find it entertaining. Know. Yes, I'm, I want to know how it feels to open up your entire life to millions of people. Um, yeah. <laughs> I try not to really think about it that way. Um, it's, it's a little... I can't really describe it. You know, it's weird. When, when you, I used to watch a show before I was on it. And just in general reality shows, you always have the group of friends that say, man, you guys should follow us with cameras. We're much funnier. Yeah. But when that camera's in your face and you start thinking about your mom and your aunt watching it, mm, it takes the cool out of your beat. You guys share, like, your whole life. The good, the oh. bad, the ugly. Like, it's, it's a lot. But, you know, we get so much support from viewers. And people always say, you know, I feel the same way or I'm struggling with the same kind of thing. And... And, you know, watching you help me kind of think about it or, or get through it. That always makes it worth it. Yeah, I feel like this season in particular is kind of, like, really emotional so far. It has been an emotional season. Um, you know, the more we all get to know each other, the more what's deep down comes up. And, you know, that's going to be the, the real dark, deep stuff. Not necessarily dark, but deep stuff. Hey, you are so... Oh, I'm good. I'm so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I mean, I watch you on TV, but, like... In person. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, it's a fluke. Just get it get it right once in a blue moon. Well, you have your whole, what do you call them, your squad behind you? <laughs> the, those are my really good friends, yes. The squad makes you strong. Yes. yes. Okay. This season, I feel like it's, I mean, this, yeah, it's following you around, your whole journey, you know, your marriage. I can't wait to watch on TV. Thank way, you. Everything that happened to you this season. It, I'm nervous about that episode airing. That was a crazy day. Oh, I'm excited to watch. I'm a big fan of the show. So, uh, but this season was really emotional for you. How do you feel like opening your life up to, you know, your fans? As long as someone is connecting to whether they're mourning the loss of a loved one or, you know, they're taking the plunge. This is a once in a lifetime um, event with my husband this season. Uh, finally, yeah, someone, I was someone who never wanted to get married. And, you know, I feel very much like even though it wasn't perfect fairy tale in the sense that I had to lose my father, um, the the wedding and having married the man of my dreams is, you know, another beautiful thing. So it's really, it's very real and, you know, everyone is going through something like that at home, you know, falling in love or breaking up or making up or, you know. Okay, so I want to know what Tommy did to change your mind. Tommy, what'd you do? Goofy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, from your perspective, since you didn't want to get married, Tommy well, comes along. That. You know, you just need somebody in the works. You need somebody in the works. I really, I really felt a, a different kind of love toward him, and I really thought of him as a person who I wanted to love on a level I'd never felt before. And when he felt close enough to me that he wanted, to, that he saw me at his, as his wife. I thought I've done something right to make this man feel special enough to want to share his life with me and you know it's it's probably that thing that people say when they say you know when you know you know I'm still waiting to find this you're giving me hope MJ absolutely absolutely and also late in life like I definitely said no to the wrong people and said yes when the right one came along I meant I meant I said yeah, they were wrong for me. Yeah, they were wrong for gotcha, her. Gotcha. She was waiting for you, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> See how, right, equally, how easily he can I trick me. I'm not trying to start a fight here. <laughs> yes, this is over. we're leaving in separate covers for sure. Since your time on The Bachelorette, do you know what you want? Or do you know what you're looking for now in a relationship? I think I always knew what I was looking for, but I don't think it was the time for it. And I feel like love you shouldn't have to think about. It's a union. It's just one. It understands you, and you understand it. If I gotta fight to get it, that's tough. But if I have it and I'm fighting while I'm while I'm in it, then that makes sense. Love, like you don't have to think about loving your mom or your dad, right? You just love them, and I think that's what love is. So it's timing, and it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. But I'm not mad. I mean, I learned a lot about myself. Yeah. Love is beautiful. It changed my life. Tell me what you learned about yourself. You know, open me up to be more vulnerable about how I really feel and what I really want. 
And um, I go hard after love, you know? Some people don't understand that. Yeah. Sometimes I think, I think I'm an over-pursuer. You know, that analogy of you're giving so much that you don't allow people to give to you, that can kind of push people away. It's like you got to learn how to receive. See? There you go. Oh you have the same problem. I know. Oh but, my God. Yeah. I need to learn. I need to learn from you. Um, okay, so really quick, I have to ask you. We have a new bachelor coming soon. Colton. Are you team Colton? Yeah. He's going to be great. I think the ending is going to be tough, but if he follow his heart and do what's best for him, he'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, he's a former NFL guy. I mean, he had a lot of crazy challenges in that, yeah. in that sport, so he'll be fine. Well, that's it for me on the red carpet. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop, pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.